Hello, so here we are going to talk about the leverage and margin in your account, which is tied in with your broker. And this should be considered and taken into account as one, the leverage and margin together, because they affect the trades you can and can't take in your account. So let's go over that uh, leverage is what allows you to trade positions bigger than the amount that's in your account and it's expressed as a ratio so it could be 100 to 1, 500 to 1, uh, 30 to 1 and it's the ratio between the amount of money you really have and the amount of money you can trade so let's say your account size is a certain amount but you can actually control a lot more money so one to one leverage means you control one dollar for every one dollar in your account and 100 to one would mean that you can control a hundred dollars worth of currency for every one dollar in your account and then that ties in with margin and margin is like a deposit which is needed to open a position and it's set aside it's it's blocked off and when you are in the trade that margin is kept aside so if you wanted to buy a hundred thousand worth of dollar yen you don't need to put up the full amount you only put up a percentage that margin depends on the broker which you will need to know when you open your account and usually as pressed as a percentage and depending on the pair uh, dollar yen euro dollar euro yen pound dollar whatever it is the margin requirement will change for that pair so the percentage could be 0.5 1 2 percent or higher so opening a trade doesn't always depend on the amount in the account but depends whether you have enough margin so if this is your account and let's say you need to set as your account is for the sake of argument thousand dollars and the margin needed by the broker is equal to five hundred dollars and the size of your trade is going to be very big let's say 700 equal to 700 dollars the amount that you are controlling then of course you will not be able to open the trade because if you have a thousand minus the 500 that's deposit you'll have 500 left but the trade is approximately the size of 700 you will not be able to open that trade that's just a rough uh, overview a rough explanation and you always need to make sure that together with the leverage you have enough margin available set aside which will be shown in your account in your trading platform and you need to know you have enough to open that trade and if not you will have to size it down so instead of 700 you might have to go down lower just as a figure in this case I'm not using real figures but you will have to reduce the size of your trade in order to place that trade and if you don't in order to take the trade that you want you'll have to add more money into your account so whatever that amount of money is going to be in order to set aside enough margin to take that trade so now that you see that you need to understand the leverage and margin you can bear in mind the fact that when you have a margin that's needed to be locked up for the duration of the trade and the high leverage then you can bear in mind that high leverage means you can control a higher amount but at the same time so high leverage means controlling more currency and therefore more profit but at the same time if the trade goes the other way then because you are controlling 
that larger amount, it can also mean a bigger loss. So that's something to bear in mind when you're placing your trades. So that's an overview of leverage and margin and in the next section we'll go into the different types of ways of analyzing the market.